Good morning. We've just made it back to the national park. Um, we packed up pretty early and just had a had a bit of brekkie at the bakery. And yeah, so we're just um, trying to find the lighthouse at the moment. We can kind of see it um, off in the distance there. So we're gonna go for a bit of a walk. But not a bad spot here either. Um, there's Brooke just putting on her shoes on. Morning. <laughs> She's not a morning person. <laughs> but yeah, not a bad view just from over the car park on the other side. Yeah, it never does justice with the videos, but I mean, you kind of get the idea. So yeah, we're going to try and find this lighthouse. I'm going to walk in no direction, so follow the path, I guess. And we'll, we'll see you there. Oh yeah, I think I'll down this one, huh? It's beyond when you can't go inside. <laughs> Gotta go. There is a little path down there, so we're gonna try and find it. So we found a little boardwalk. We're not too sure how to actually start it, but we found a little rock kind of step to get on it so we're going to figure out where it starts that way but Brooks found a pretty awesome photo spot so we're just taking a few photos and it looks pretty cool so I'll probably put it in so you would have already seen it by the time you've already seen this video for sure it'll be interesting to see where this starts because we'll probably walk straight past it So we walked straight past it. That was the main track, we walked straight up and that was the entrance to the boardwalk. So if you do come here, the Freya A National Park Lighthouse, don't go straight up the main path. Go around because it's definitely, definitely worth it. The thing I love about this car is seriously, wherever we go, no matter where it is, even the most expensive uh, caravans you've ever seen, the people still come up and say how much they like this setup. I guess it's just because it's a little bit different. Like I said, you, you, there's so many caravans on the road. Like it, it's crazy how many like I'm not, elderly couples, retirees that are you know doing it in caravans. But you don't see many young people doing it in in this sort of setup. Well, from, from our experience so far, anyway. So it's really it's really good to hear. You know, it's taken a lot of effort to build. We are just in the small lighthouse car park and we had two completely different um, groups of people make a comment, a nice comment on our setup, so. As we're just getting a bottle of water from the fridge. Like, so, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, um, you know, it's good to hear from all the work that we put into it. You know, it didn't, it, we didn't do it overnight. It took, it took quite a long time, so. Yeah, that's, that's definitely good. Just walking along the beach here. And Brooke's just like, oh, look at this big shell, and it's actually got a little crab in it. So it's a little hermit crab, but it's pretty big. Yeah, he's pretty big. I'm going to put him back in the water, though. He was, he was washed up on the beach. Brooke's going to take a couple of photos. Oh, he's coming out. I'm trying to just put him so he'll get away. Oh, so we've just put... Oh, he's coming out. We've just put him down to see if he'll come out. He is coming out. We're just um, rolling through the, the little um, campsites there. You gotta walk in, so we couldn't actually get one. 
it's like you basically park your car and then if you got a tent or a swag or something you can use them um well apparently that person doesn't know what that means camping in the back of his van but yeah it's a pretty nice spot Coles Bay. Coles Bay. We're having ice cream at Coles Bay. I got cookies and cream. I got blueberry. And we have a pretty view of the mountain. But, um, there's a rig. And there's the uh, mountains. That's actually Mount Amos, so you can actually climb that. We were saying yesterday that that was the other walk that we could have done yesterday, but it's like looks pretty ridiculous like you have to crab crawl up the mountain and stuff and we're like kind of beginner hikers so i think that's a pretty big challenge to start off with so we might give that one a miss possibly do it another time but i think for now we should skip that the one that we did yesterday was still quite good but we're not really sure what we're gonna do today oh that's really good Oh. Alright, I'm gonna eat this. We're we'll back. Where are we at now, Brooke? Honeymoon Bay. Honeymoon Bay. Oh. Looks pretty nice. I've seen some photos of it, but um, I think it's gonna look really nice. So we'll see you there in a minute. camp we've um just kind of set up and had a quick feed so we're at uh river and rocks campground it's just a free camp there is a toilet here but it's not anything special that's for sure just a nice little area there's like a lake just on the other side over that way but um yeah just a spot for the night we're not really sure where we're gonna head tomorrow but we'll probably be heading bit further south continue down the coast of Tassie sorry the east coast of Tassie but yeah the national park's been really nice we've done all the Freyne National Park did the lighthouse and that today it was quite fun probably do some editing and that um, this afternoon and do a bit of dinner and that, that'll be about it so we'll fill you in for dinner so we'll see you in a bit good morning we just packed up camp and drove two minutes down the road back to the oyster and mussel farm. Luke's getting mussels today for lunch. Um, I'm out get some hot chippies or something. I'm not too hungry. We didn't have breakfast too long ago. But I'll definitely show you Luke's mussels. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of food. What type of mussels did you get? Espana. <laughs> It's like a bolognese kind of sauce. So we stopped off and got some petrol and did a toilet break. We stopped at a bakery called Dun Alley Bakery and I rate it. It was a good bakery, lots of options. I got a chunky steak pie and a raspberry tart. And um, what did you get? Ham uh, and pineapple pizza. It wasn't very big but it was very tasty. And then you got um, this French vanilla cream tart pastry thing. Um, yeah, definitely a good stop if you're coming out this way. Good little lunch break. So. sunny. No, it probably wouldn't be sunny now anyway. We've had a little bit of bad luck today. Uh, we just pulled into the tessellated pavements. Chuck a left into the tessellated pavements. We almost missed the turn off. And uh, Tristan in his Triton jam on the brakes and um, he lost his brakes. 
He was actually booked in on Tuesday to get his the shoes in the brakes fixed and that's what let go. So they're um, just partnering along to the closest free camp. Tonight it's already 5.30, it's actually nearly 6 o'clock already. So yeah, we've been working on that for the last I think about two hours trying to figure out the best solution for that. So now Brooke and I are going to keep going to the National Park and we'll probably meet up with them uh, sometime next week when they get that fixed. Um, it's currently Saturday so not much we can do about it unfortunately. But yeah, check this place out. Tesselated pavements. Pavements. It's kind of a like a, a rock right on the water that when it gets high tide the water comes on top of it and it kind of makes it like a really cool reflection. So I'll try and get it on camera. But we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit hard to see because there's not much sun out at the moment. It is pretty late. So uh, we might have to come look at it again tomorrow maybe when we come back up. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Well, welcome back. I think today's going to be a bit of a... Um, adventure day today. Uh, I think we're going to go and do quite a few things. Um, Port Arthur looks like the closest place at the moment. We're just staying just out of Port Arthur. So we're going to go check that out first. And there's a couple of coastal uh, lookouts and that we want to see. That looks pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, we'll be doing a bit of driving today, but it should be worth it. So we'll see where we end up, eh? We're at the Port Arthur historic site. Um, we paid for a day ticket so you get a 20 minute tour, walking tour when you start. And then you also get a 20 minute cruise, cruise um, out to the bay. And obviously you get access to like free roam around everywhere. So we're just been and finished our and we went and looked at the separate prison which was the asylum and now we're just going for a bit of a walk until our time for our cruise um, there's some churches and stuff ahead of us that we'll probably go check out and have a little walk Their church. It's a pretty cool spot. Tell you what, it's actually pretty huge. Right. Apparently, when there was convicts in the silent asylum, where they literally were not allowed to say a word, the guards would use sign language between each other um, to get messages across. They were allowed one day a week at the church on Sundays. And that was the only time that they were allowed to speak. And that was to pray, I guess. So, it's pretty cool. Couldn't imagine not being able to speak at all for a whole week. So, and they, um, I, will, I'll, I was going to record in there, but it was, um, you could try and stay silent. So, I didn't record anything. But, some of the cells were like, six feet by six feet like they're pretty tiny like i wouldn't even be able to lay down in it so yeah pretty crazy actually don't know the building that we just walked into did you see a sign brook maybe a soldier's cabin or something yeah looks a little bit nicer than the rest of the buildings so i think it's got something to do with the soldiers so we were slightly right it was a government cottage and it was for obviously the government officials to stay in while they were here. They're doing the at the court and stuff. So yeah.
definitely worth coming here if you if you're in Tasmania and you're going south at, at any point you're gonna have to probably come through Port Arthur unless you go on the west side of the, the island but if you're going south you gotta come here because I mean it's $35 entry but you get two tours included it's definitely worth coming this place is pretty nice and it's definitely got some dark history but definitely worth coming Apparently this was actually here when they had, like when this was running. Uh, apparently this was all still really nice gardens for the for the officials. So I mean I couldn't imagine it being the same uh, waterfall, uh, fountain, sorry. But I mean, you get the idea. So yeah, it's not bad, I mean, if you're doing the right thing, you still got a nice place to stay, I guess. So this was the main uh, jail area. They see that big green um, wall over there. Um, apparently that was what covered this whole place, like as in a wall. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty huge. I mean, like I am six two, six three, and I mean, like I'm probably one third of the of the wall. So it's pretty damn high. Um, yeah, and they did. They had a water channel. So, and I'll wait till I get a little bit closer. So, they've got the water channel here. Obviously, there's not much water in it right now. But apparently, that wasn't the original water channel. So, this, this big wall here. Oh, that's Brook standing next to it. So, pretty huge. Would cover this whole area. And then, this river would be full. And then also, that was not the original bank. Apparently, the original bank was all the way towards that building. So that's pretty cool. So what building is this, bro? Give us a quick description. Uh, it's the main jail, and from my understanding, the bottom level was the worst level um so like the really bad guys were down on the bottom level and if you're a bit better you got to be on the top level maybe a better view then there was three levels three levels you said and you could um like if you do something bad you could go down a level if you did something good oh. you could go up a level. The, ma the main difference was apparently the chains oh shit, that was pretty low apparently the chains were a lot lighter the higher up you went and apparently it got to the point where on the floor here the chains were super super heavy so you tried to get a, avoid that if you could here's a quick layout of kind of the bottom floor so you can see like there's a, there's a yard down the bottom on the right these are like the the cell blocks a few little kitchen areas big ovens and then the laundry apparently they used the cookhouse mainly for flour and like it was pretty pretty basic from what we know but the the cells we'll, we'll show you the cells in a sec This was the main like courtyard, Munster, apparently where everything was assigned if they were going to work or which cell they would go to when they first arrived, that sort of thing. So it's a pretty big area. I could imagine it was probably not this gravel kind of material, it'd probably just be dirt. So yeah, it's been, it's been pretty well reserved to be honest. Uh, we're just about to walk in the cell block, so we'll show you in a sec. So in the main building, there's a section just here where apparently they were, it was used to grow certain crops. I'm pretty sure that's what the guide said. But then eventually, they got rid of that because they thought they the convicts didn't deserve it. So, not too bad. So once they got rid of the, the crops, this is actually was turned into another cell block. So you can see the size of the cells on the floor. I'm just going to take like normal steps and just see. So 
for like three small steps for me and my toes hit another wall. So I'll, get, I'll actually try and lay down a little bit and Brooke can like give you an idea. Each cell came with a bed and it was like a hammock style bed. Do you fit? Not really. Not really. So I'm like I'm six two, so not very big at all. So they were really jam packed in here. Well, I didn't actually know, but there's actually some original cells here. You that you can see the levels and everything. It's actually quite cool. When we did our, our tour, they didn't actually come to this point. So he, I guess he kind of just wanted people to go and have a look. But I'll get a load of this. So, and you, can, you can see up there, there's obviously where the floor used to be. And then another cell as well. And I, I think that was, it was three or four levels. I can't quite remember. Three. Three? Mm -hmm. And then obviously the bell tower and stuff on top. But I mean, like, you've seen the tiny cell that I was laying down in, and even then, minus how thick the walls were. So you're left with nothing, absolutely nothing. You can see um, the two loops there is yeah. what you used to clip your hammock style bed um, into. Yeah. So yeah, in, in the psych ward that we went into, you could see there was one hammock replica that was so those two loopholes there was one on each side of the wall and that's what they laid on um, so yeah it's pretty pretty crazy to be honest well yeah, i think these are even smaller to be honest they, this is absolutely crazy like these cells that i've just found are even smaller and it's just like i don't even understand how people can live in i mean i guess the some bad people but also some were not yeah it makes you realize how how good we have it now this little bit you can actually kind of walk into and get a feel of how big it is i'll get brooke to show you like just me i'm standing in it like i can't i'm not even half stretched out pretty small <clears throat> And we just figured out that, that building actually is four storey. So they say ground floor, then first floor, second floor, third floor. So four levels. did the little uh, 20 minute or oh, half hour I guess um, bay tour it was pretty cool it wasn't much to show because the guy was pretty much baking the whole time he, yeah not a bad he was giving knowledge yeah like. it, was, it was like like an actual tour so that's including your ticket so pretty cool value you don't have to pay anything extra for it um, but there's a few more little things we want to see before we head off and then, then we'll be moving on we're he actually mentioned a, a little cave that um, I have actually heard of before. So I might go and check that out, I think, after this. So we'll see you at the top of this hill anyway. Go. Oh shit, don't fall over. And back. Oh. <laughs> She's already puffed. The exercise. Feel good? Yeah. Come on, shall I take you upstairs?
we thought we would, but we were just enjoying it, so we just stayed yeah. longer. Well, I think, what's the time now? Um, 1.30. 1 1.30. We got here at 10.30. So, there you go. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good day. So, yeah, three hours in total here. I mean, we weren't rushing. We weren't, we weren't taking our time. We just kind of did what we wanted to do. Take this off now. So, yeah, we got some postcards. Keeping postcards to collect and some to send back to friends and family. But I found these ones and I asked like if I could have one and he goes, oh, they're free. And like gave me like six of them. So, <laughs> so nice. you got some postcards coming your way. You probably receive them before you already see this. <laughs> so, yeah, not a bad. We're going to see what we're going to do now. I'm not too sure yet. We're doing the uh, remarkable cave walk. It's only 15 minutes. Uh, apparently there's a lot of stairs though, so stairs aren't our friends. Uh, but I tell you what, this lookout is pretty nice. I'll try and get a good video in a sec. places today and it's just been lots of walking, lots of um, sightseeing. We pulled up to Lime Bay which we'll be camping here tonight. Um, pretty nice looking spot. We're gonna go for a little walk I think. But here's our little camp spot. I actually don't think it's an actual camp spot to be honest but it look, looks pretty nice. Yeah, not bad. Uh, we're just kind of settled in now and just having a bit of... I well, started cooking dinner. We're having ravioli tonight with some sauce. Italian style tomato and garlic. So that's the sauce. So, not a bad little spot. We're only here for tonight. We're, we're going to pack up it pretty early tomorrow and start heading towards Hobart. Um, we'll see what we what happens from there. We don't really know. Maybe start making our way back up. Through the middle. Maybe. Through the middle. I think the, the west coast apparently is pretty remote. Um, so we're not sure if we're going to be doing that because they, they say that you should probably do it with two cars but we're not too sure if we're going to be seeing our friends again so we'll just have to see how we go with that so i think that'll be about it for tonight so it might be the end of another episode so we had a pretty big bit day today so wouldn't surprise me all right well we'll catch us next time see ya Apparently, 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 the apparently, 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 apparently,
stays on our friends.